CNN Money Switzerland is designed to flow through information. Our network provides a unique take on live, worldwide financial news. From the heart of Europe, watch CNN Money Switzerland. Breaking news, this is a huge shocker. Rolex absolutely shocked the world with this announcement. Rolex is acquiring Bucherer. What does this mean for Rolex, Bucherer, as well as the industry at large? Let's talk about it. Let's just recap really quickly on what is going on. So Rolex has acquired Bucherer. Now Bucherer on many accounts is the largest authorized dealer in the world of watches with over a hundred points of sale. In the last few years, they also acquired Tourneau, which is another name many people in the United States is familiar with, for over $350 million. So they've already been scaling things out. They've been in relationship with Rolex for over 100 years, and by many accounts, are the largest in the world of authorized dealers. Question is, why did Rolex decide to do this? I am in Geneva, Switzerland, today in the Rolex shop today. You know, Rolex has the big shop in Switzerland here. And I came here today. I met a special person in Geneva today. Who is Doctor? Hi, my name is Doctor Thomas Donahue. Let's get to Doctor Thomas. Yes, I'm from the United States. Yeah, he's from America. And as uh, so we were walking around Geneva, having some tourist side view, he said he wants to go and buy a watch at Rolex shop. I asked, "What kind of watch do you want to buy?" <laughs> Rolex. This is their Black Bay Chrono in steel and gold, one of my favorites. So Rolex just pulled a Taylor Swift and bought Bucherer. So I said, so I said, I'm personal friends with with Alan Bear, who happens to be the designer and the clothier for the John Wick series of movies with Keanu Reeves. Now, when I met Alan, Alan said to me, you know, you happen to be the same size suit. I was being measured for a suit. It's Keanu Reeves. And I said, well, how do you know that? And he said, well, I made all the suits for Keanu. You're 44 long. You're exactly the same size. You look like him. And uh, he said, would you like to have one of Keanu's suits from the movies? And I said, well, yeah, I would. And actually, so I purchased one from him, an actual suit from the movie for Keanu. And I want to meet Keanu Reeves sometime because I greatly respect the work he's done. And uh, I'm a spiritualist, and I believe that I have something important to tell Keanu. So if Keanu ever sees this, Keanu, you and I, uh, our spirits are going to meet sometime, my friend. Uh, and in the movie, it's interesting. Keanu Reeves gives, at the end of the movie, all his friends a Rolex, a Submariner, which I also have. But in the movie, he wears a Carl Bucherer watch. It has a white face instead of black, but I like black, so I got the black. And it's very understated. And it's interesting, Keanu wears it on the inside of his wrist because when he fights, he doesn't want the glass to get damaged. Now, when I fight, I'm a Wing, I'm a wing Chun master. I understand that mentality. And it's very funny, in the movie, periodically, as it is, Keanu's killing people, he checks the time. It's very funny. So I'm here to buy the watch, the very watch that Keanu wore in the movie, here in Geneva, Switzerland. In fact, probably the biggest one around the world is Bucher. They have about a hundred stores around the world, including control over Tourneau, which is very, they sell Rolex, but they sell Patek and Omega and various other brands. So if you walk into a Bucherer and it's not a very nice experience, or they try to abuse their power away with a bad taste in your mouth from the authorized dealer, but also from the brand. In a way, the authorized dealer is responsible for representing that elevated experience from the brand on how their watches are being sold, how their brand is being represented by all these thousands of authorized dealers around the world. It's about image, it's about 
high level of quality really winding up in the hands of some sort of asshole who only cared about dollars and cents. Some people feel like Rolex are trying to make money off the other brands and though they will, I really don't think that the whole idea is to keep the status quo. Rolex are not about change. They make very, very small moves, even in their watch design the service was established about a year ago also. After all, Bucher and Turno in the United States is where you'll find most of those CPO watches. This is my friend Prom. She's, she's from Thailand, from Thailand, Thailand. brother. And she, she has been a, such a wonderful person here now. Coincidentally, poor Mr. Booker, who is his first name? Yeah. His first name? His name is George. George Booker. George. He, has, he has passed away in the last 48 hours. And I said to, to, to the prom, I said, I want to meet this guy to tell him how beautiful his watch is. And she said, would you believe he just passed away? Now, I'm a spiritualist, and I can communicate with spirits in the afterlife. And I say to you... I will ask God, if God will allow me to communicate with George, to tell him about this experience, to tell him the work he did on earth, it benefited many people, and he did many things to enrich the lives of human beings, and God likes that, because God likes it when human beings use their talents in the world. Yeah. So, I am Maxwell Archer, as I told you before, I am a reporter and agent of CNN uh, Money Switzerland. So we are lucky to be in Rolex shop today. And then we had this news that George D. Booker is dead. And then that's the watch, is that the watch my friend wanted to buy today. So it comes like a shocking something for us. Most people they know that this Booker is gone. Just like that. But the watch is something special that celebrates where this watch. When you talk about Rolex, there are some max combination uh, with Rolex that you need to know all about. This is one of the watches that we are talking about here. So we happen to be here today, and then we have the news that Judge G. Booker, Booker is gone. So it's so pity. He was how old was he? Eighty-seven years old. And, and it turns it turns out ironically because I'm a, 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 a big Rolex guy. Rolex has agreed because Mr. Booker has no descendants. He's the last of his line. Rolex has bought Booker, and they will be this. They will be the owner as things move forward. Now, the reason I bought a Rolex originally is because. When I was a kid, I would watch James Bond movies, and I said, you know what, I want to be like James Bond, and I want to wear a Rolex, but I never had the money, and then as I got older, and I became, became successful, I'm, I'm an orthodontist, and, and I do orthodontic surgical treatment planning for, 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 for children with disabilities and deformities, and I'm very successful, and I do a lot of things in life, and I said to myself, you know what, I deserve a Rolex now. Not because I have the money to buy it, and not because I want to be like James Bond, but because I am James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember, James Bond has been turning around. We have uh, Roger Moore, we have Sin Cholera, and then we have the new James Bond that comes from France. Then now, James Bond is going back to US and is coming to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm lucky today to be in Geneva in Switzerland with the new upcoming James Bond. <laughs> now, let's get back to George E. Boca. Let's see the kind of watches he has here in Rolex. Rolex are not about change. They make very, very small moves, even in their watch design nice. service was established about a year ago also. After all, Bucher and Turno in the United States is where you'll find most of those CPO watches. <laughs> the Boca Blue, which is here. Can you show them? Can you show them the watches that are here? Yeah. 
you see the watches and look at when Boca started doing these watches 1888 that's when he started doing this it's watches. pretty big news because Rolex don't usually involve themselves in the retail business at all they select certain authorized dealers to sell their products and they sell them to them who then sell them on they keep a certain distance between themselves and their own audience it's a very interesting business in fact probably the biggest one around the world is Bucher they have about 100 stores around the world, including control over Ternal, which is very, they sell Rolex, but they sell Patek and Omega and various other brands. So if you walk into a Bucherer and it's not a very nice experience, or they try to abuse their power away with a bad taste in your mouth from the authorized dealer, but also from the brand, in a way, the authorized dealer is responsible for representing that elevated experience from the brand on how their watches are being sold, how their brand is being represented by all these thousands of authorized dealers around the world. Rolex, it's about image, it's about high level of quality, really winding up in the hands of some sort of asshole who only cared about dollars and cents. Some people feel like Rolex are trying to make money off the other brands, and though they will, I really don't think that the idea is to keep the status quo. I am so grateful today to be in Rolex shop in Switzerland to have this news today. Remember, this is CNN Money Switzerland. So let's get back to the watch we came to buy today. For sure, sure. good-looking guy. <laughs> this this guy, I came in here when originally, and I said I want to buy a watch, and he said, "Well, I want to do servicing." And I looked at him. this guy, physicist, That's physicist, physicist. <laughs> and and I'm an orthodontist. No, like and my father, and a, and a surgeon. My father and my mom are both orthodontists. No way! Yeah. Your teeth are nice. <laughs> are you? Do you know Ali Darendeleur? Like Professor in Sydney, Ali. No, Ali. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like oh, he, here in Geneva. So no, like, he works in Neuchâtel. Neuchâtel. Like uh, the oh. town next oh. to. Uh, so I'm in the States, in New York. Yeah, yeah okay. But uh, is this is this usually the uniform yeah. in Rolex? Yeah, yeah the Bugatti. Yeah, kind of. They'll find me in the directory. The, the directory or the directory. I'd love to meet them. Mm -hmm. Your mom's the one with the Rolex and the name yeah, of the person yeah, exactly. in here. Yeah, the Bugatti. Yeah, because I I was thinking so it's because of so uh, maybe the uniform was like made specially for his memorial. Because all my uniform is the name on it. Okay. So it's the normal uniform. But it is. All right, thank you. Switzerland is designed, is designed to flow, to flow through, through information. information. Our network provides a unique take on live, worldwide financial news. From the heart of Europe, watch CNN Money Switzerland.